Well, I hope you can hear me over the sound of the uh, horizontal vibrating lap down here. Uh, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm, I'm grinding the surfaces of a 10 inch mirror blank flat and parallel. And uh, there's the 10 inch blank. It's about an inch and a half thick. You see the thickness there. And to add some weight to it, I've got a stack of three of my old original 8 inch blanks on top of it, just to weigh it down a little bit. Uh, nobody's really interested in 8 inch blanks, they want 10 or bigger, so I'm making a 10 inch blank. And uh, what, what I'm using right now is 36, inch, uh, 36 mesh carbide grit in the pan of the lap to smooth down the, the surfaces on the blank. Uh, the top surface was kind of wrinkly and the bottom surface wasn't quite flat. So this 36 grit really cuts quickly and uh, makes the surfaces nice and flat. I uh, don't need to see that, but I, uh, I put a nice bevel on both surfaces before I put it in there so that there's no chipping issues. And I've got a PVC fitting there that chases the blank around so it doesn't sit still. It's constantly moving. And this works pretty well. This uh, 36 grit will really smooth out the two surfaces very quickly. I've already done the top surface right there. I'm doing the bottom surface right now. And um, what I'm going to do is, once they're nice and flat and parallel, I'm going to switch to finer grits and smooth out the surfaces a little bit. I'm not going to polish them. I'm not going to take it until they're transparent. There's really no point in that since they're just going to go to the mirror lab and get ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably switch to 80, maybe 120 and just smooth out the surfaces a little bit. But uh, I'm not going to bother with polishing them all the way. And then I'm going to take it over to the mirror lab and some lucky person's going to get to make themselves a 10 inch mirror out of this point. So I just wanted to make this video to show you how I do it. My, I love my vibrating lap. It works great. So here's that same blank um, out of the vibrating lap down there. Oh, it's dirty. I gotta clean it up. But uh, I finished it all the way to 220 grit, and uh, oh, it's nice and smooth at 220 grit. Um, still got a frosted appearance, but I'll tell you what: if you wet it down a little bit, it becomes transparent. You read newspaper through it. That's cool. Anyway, it's a pretty good looking blank. Um, my grinding machine, which you can uh, read about on my website, allows me to grind it perfectly round at the exact diameter I want. And, ed and uh, bevel the edge. So both edges are beveled, so there's no chipping uh, problems in the lap. Um, the lap lets me uh, flatten the top and bottom surfaces, and by weighting the, the thick edge, um, I can actually make the surfaces quite parallel, too. The thick edge will wear down quicker than the thin edge, and uh, as I measure it during the process, pretty soon they're parallel. And I can take the weight off. So, it works pretty good. I'm starting to make some pretty decent looking blanks. Um, I would say they're starting to rival commercial quality. Might at least already have a bevel on them. So, uh, this is coming along pretty well. Now I just need to scale it up and make some monster ones. Keep watching. That's coming.